Okay, I'm Andy Green and I'm the chairman of Warrington History Society. Well, it actually started in 1964 and there was a couple of gentlemen, Cliff Newton and Ken Jeremy, were keen archaeologists actually, amateur archaeologists. So they decided that let's look at setting up a, you know, some kind of society. They got in touch with the chief librarian at Warrington Library, George Carter, uh, and the first meeting at Warrington Museum, 132 people turned up. So there was definitely an interest. The main thing we do these days is organise talks from September through to April. We have a talk once a month uh, at Fry's Green Chapel. That's right in the centre of Warrington but it's all really local history and occasionally archaeology. Uh, we meet, as I say, seven times a year, although in May we do have a members visit. So that's when we may go out to um, maybe a local church or a local museum. So we've got 88 members now, but there's guests are also welcome to come to our lectures and visitors. And often, you know, we can get anything between 30, 40, 50 visitors. Some of our lectures now have actually got over 100 people attending. Well, over the years, I was adding up last night actually, uh, we've done 380 different lectures over the years on a wide range of topics. But for instance, the last season, we've had somebody talking about the history of Burtonwood Air Base. We've had somebody talking about the life of William Beamont, who was the very first mayor of Warrington. But honestly, it, it, there's a whole spectrum of talks there and there's usually something for everyone. George Formby, the history of George Formby, because he had a fascinating story to tell. Um, so that was one of my favourites as well. What I set out to do was I want to increase the membership. I work in marketing for a living, so I just did some basic stuff and the membership's grown. I think we've had about 30 new members in the last three years. I think really, as I say, our aim is to encourage an interest in local history. And I think those figures I just gave you then, about 30 new members and lots more guests coming along to each lecture proves that we are increasing awareness and interest in local history. Real appetite for local history in the town. One of our roles as, as a Warrington History Society is to just make sure that we uh, feed that interest really and uh, make sure we maintain it going forwards. Well, I think it's good value for the start. I mean, at the present, the fees are 11 pound for the season. So that's seven talks. We have a Christmas party as well. Well, it's a Christmas quiz, but we have a few little drinks and cakes there as well. There's a library at the society as well. So we've got a lot of old library books and that's free for members. They can book a book out, bring it back the following month. More than anything, really, it's just feeding that interest in local history. And it's entertaining and there's, there's some really nice people there as well. So, I mean, I've made a number of new friends with shared interests. So everybody wins, really. Probably the easiest way to join is to, to come to one of our lectures. Um, you can come along as a guest if you wish to, to begin with. Uh, if you turn up as a guest, it's just £2.50 a time. And if you decide you like it and you want to sign up, it's £11 for the year. You can sign up at one of our lectures, or you can go on our website and fill a form in there as well and bring that along with you, or post it to us. Uh, it's as simple as that, really.